Since the start of our journey on Sylphia in the peaceful Bay of Islands, New Zealand, we've learned a lot in terms of anchoring. We've anchored in remote, uninhabited islands far away from civilization, we've maneuvered into tight marinas and strong winds, and we've hooked mooring balls in wild and stormy seas. But this time, we're in Osprey, Australia, close to the reef, and things didn't go entirely to plan. This time, we're in danger. Okay. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylphia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore the planet both above and below the surface. And see what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. I'm a little bit shaken up this morning. Last night was pretty rough, and it was one of the few times on Sylphia that I've been nervous. Let me explain what happened. We are in the middle of a fun night, unwinding, because we actually just moved from a really rough anchorage to the safest anchorage in Osprey, which is still very rough, mind you. What's going on, Tori? We are almost there. Um... We are in the entrance of the big lagoon and it's supposed to be mooring balls somewhere. It's more rolly than I expected. And this one is inside the reef, however, it's just on the outer edge. And um, so we're um, maybe 100 meters onto the reef and then behind us is just wide open Pacific Ocean. It's super deep too. Last night, as we're hanging out, I'm in the back and I look and I notice that our dinghy is, a, is on our side. So instead of the dinghy being behind, which it would be with the wind, it's now on our side. I was like, what the hell? Like, why is it like that? The moment that I said that, the anchor alarm went off. And at first I'm like, nah, I couldn't be. Like, we're on a good mooring. These moorings are beefy. But we run to the bow of the boat and our cleat had fallen off. Got a pretty good crew. We've tied thousands of cleats, and it just happened to be not the best. So now we're drifting in behind us. Not a big deal, right? Flip the engine on, just motor right back, and grab that same mooring. So I go to flip on the engine, and it uh, turns off. It's not going. And so I check the oil. I check everything really quickly. But we're drifting back. And now we've drifted off of the reef and we're in open water, too deep to drop anchor, which is what you would do next. It sounds like it's like the moment you put it in gear, it's turning off. So it's a kill switch. We ran over a line. Our Shinoa line was in the water and the uh, wind must have pushed it. So it was in the water already, so that's bad. And it must have like drug some of out. And the moment I turned the engine on, it sucked it into the propeller. So, engine's dead, we're in 25 knots of wind, we're in this tight reef at night. I'm not gonna try to sail in here <laughs> and try to grab this mooring, right? Now, if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that I've conducted um, many um, blackwater dives, and that's when you hang off the boat at night over thousands of feet of water. We cut the Genoa line so it's just at least slack because just in case that there was tension we didn't want that if I cut it it would unwind and the propeller would turn on me or something like that. And Jordan jumped in with me to light up the prop. down there and I actually unwrapped it. I didn't end up cutting it. Um, crew was awesome. We had lines attached to us, of course, to make sure that we didn't drift away. 
So let's just talk about it like that. Okay, dinghy's out of commission. If I drift away, for whatever reason, they can't get me. If I get hit in the head, they're gonna pull me back up. And um, it's just kind of a not ideal situation. So the goal, the goal is to keep her kind of close, but not hitting anything, just to light me up. I'm gonna go into that, I'm gonna cut it off quick. If anything happens, she's gonna scream to you. You just pull me up and pull me in, okay? Yep. Luckily, it went as planned. I was un uh, able to unwrap that. Uh, I gave the crew hugs when I got back on board. I think that they were all very supportive, and this is what it is. So what to do in the future? Um, when we got here after sailing in, I should have done a walk around the boat and made sure no lines were in the water. I feel like a real boner for that. Um, gotta be honest there. So now I'm gonna add on to my captain duties is to walk the boat, make sure that everything is secure. I'm gonna check people's cleats. And then now, the last one, we set up another uh, safety line, which is just another line that you um, that do a bowl in attached from the bow to the mooring. Um, I'm proud of the crew because using process of elimination, we were able to figure it out. Um, we found a problem and we found a solution and we did it, we fixed it. And everybody kept their cool, so I am actually very proud of the crew. Shit happens, and, but at the end of the day, like we're out here by ourselves, 80 miles away from the Great Barrier Reef. There's not another boat anywhere near us, and we have to be self-sufficient, and there's always something to be learned from each other. And, um, yeah. yeah. Today's a new day. It's gonna be an extra safe day. I saw 33 knots of wind, and all of a sudden, I, I told I was both like, why is the dinghy here? Just like last time, and all of a sudden, beep. It was like a repeat of last night, like six hours ago. It was like, everything okay? No, no, no. Stay calm, everybody. <laughs> So, now we're all set. I still don't trust it though. So I've got Ollie and Jaime. We're gonna go in and do a, uh, a secondary safety line. They're gonna tie that right to the block this time so that we don't just have just their mooring. We also have our own line tied to the block. So, much more than that, I don't know. If that breaks, we're leaving. <laughs> You'll never, you'll never guess what we're doing again. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> We're mooring <laughs> again today. Um, this would be the third mooring in the last 12 hours. So we don't actually dive anymore. We're done with that. That's a thing in the past. We just we like to visit all the mooring spots yeah, in just, Australia. We're yeah. super into mooring. We're days. super into it. It's our new thing. Yeah. It's becoming very popular. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. the cool cruisers. Are yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> it's like trains, but with moorings and boats. It's happening again. It's happening again. No. But you know what? Amy is gonna sleep through all of it. <laughs> I slept the whole time. Yeah. Sweet dreams. Yeah. You know, when she goes wrong, we come. Amy's, Amy's ready. Ready to sleep through it now. Look at that face. It's the face. I don't even know. Of a confused. Salty. Salty sailor. Yeah. Yeah. We got in like six hours of sleep before uh, the crisis number two. Yeah. I was just saying how like we've gone soft at the rum jungle, you know? Yeah. We were, Spent like, too much time on that safe mooring over at the rum jungle, sleeping well at night. It's not good for you. Yeah. Uh, it keeps you on your toes. We're back up to it. We got this. Yeah, we got this. And Rania is making us quite yeah. a delicacy for our crepes. Going with a little compote. We had some pears that were starting to go off, so it should go well with the crepes. And I think everyone kind of needs a snack after this morning's excitement. So, yeah. Yeah, okay, no. Mm -hmm. The final crepe of the day yeah. goes to me, the master chef. The work of art right there. Yeah, like look a, at that. Look at that, look at that. We're we have a regular a, Van Gogh over here. It's yeah. called abstract art. And we have a star. We made a star. Oh, right? like oh wow. We did it on purpose. It was all yeah. for that star. It looks like we were searching for a treasure or something. Yeah. So, it's 11 o'clock now. We finally eat some crepes for breakfast and the day is just starting. <laughs> Feels like it started a long time ago, but today is a maintenance day, so we need to fix the dinghy. Uh, the girls are going to do some curtains. Malaya is doing some editing for your pleasure, and uh, everybody's got like little side cleaning jobs. And I need to do route and weather planning to get to Darwin. So a little bit of work day since it's blowing snot anyway, and um, all this adventure like you just need to kind of like just take a, a home day, but. Maybe Neptune's got other plans for us because it just we're just rolling with the punches. But I'll say this, you know, you, you have problems and I think it shows more your character, like how you deal with those issues and not freak out and you know, just roll with the punches. Don't take it personally. So anyway, so Rania, what's your job today? Cleaning walls. Cleaning walls. We got dirty walls, dirty hippie walls. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Kat, tell us about our special curtains. These are blackout curtains. Yeah. And it was getting too hot on the boat, so I made some for upstairs. And then we got a bunch more uh, people oh, to um, crew with us for privacy, yeah. So you turn on the fan, you shut your curtains, and nobody can hear what you're doing, <laughs> the little naughty things. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Treasures that we're unfolding down here. We uh, found some salt water yeah. in the builders, which is kind of what happens in Sylphia when we're really keeling over. All, all boats kind of do that. But um, got Nate's little pump he picked up here, mm -hmm. a little drill pump. So we're taking it from the bilge and right into the bucket. is officially fixed and yeah. we got cinnamon buns! Oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> That'll calm the storm in my belly. Matt's been sewing for like eight hours straight. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm making Matt a towel costume because he's really jealous of Nate's towel costume. Yeah. So. The sweatshop we got going on, you know, that's yeah. way. <laughs> it is hot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to jump back in the water. Yeah. Part of the Tau Costume Club. Oh, my God. Oh, it looks good. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, there it oh, is. Oh, yeah, take it oh, off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, the mantis are going down, too. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Now I feel like I'm in a Tau Costume. No, yeah. Like this is nice, Cat. This is really nice. Yeah. There you are. Passing us by. Squall after squall, but we had some come through and just just shake us up. I honestly, I can't take it. I can't take another broken mooring. I can't take another drift. <laughs> if we break this mooring, we all decided we're leaving. Like that's There's it. One more the There's one more. There's one more. Yeah, we're going back to the run jungle where we will live. We're going back home. But no. So this mooring better hold up, or the trip's canceled. Next time on Expedition Drenched, we enjoy our last day in Osprey with a final beautiful dive. Uh, we ate it that morning. After all that, that morning sucked. So we're gonna go find a new morning, a better morning, the best morning. I tore your butt is so salty. <laughs> salty butt. <Yeah. laughs> salty. The only butt to have on Sylvia is a salty butt.